ranking the best middle linebackers in college football ultimate team and boys we are back here with another tier list update today we're going to be taking a look at the middle linebacker position before we get into today's video i do want to talk about our sponsor real quick mmoexp.com if you guys want an alternative to buying packs consider buying coins at mmoexp and make sure to use code dilla checkout for five percent off your order before we do want to head and get into the new cards right here that got revealed we're going to go ahead and change the old tier list right here today what i think has changed it's like peyton wilson is no longer s tier in my opinion as an actual linebacker like as a user can still be argued but i'm gonna go ahead and drop everyone down a single tier today and yeah this is what we're gonna be looking like before we get into the new cards now the first cards we're gonna be taking a look at are brian bosworth and i uh, asked the comments on, on a previous video they currently have not fixed the issue where brian bosworth and peyton wilson can play together kind of sucks but let's talk about it right here so we're gonna get it started with 83 brian bosworth that has 82 speed 81 excel and of course the six foot four 233 that is gonna stay the same on every single card and really what his his core weaknesses are are also going to stay the same and i think it's just a lower agility and change of direction like sure the height amazing but i feel like you can definitely feel these two stats being lower on every version of his card now the positives though he gets 80 zone coverage what you're going to notice is hitting 80 zone for a linebacker isn't the most common thing like like there's definitely a decent amount that can do it is this enough for him to make the list i'll put him d tier because he hits 80 zone coverage i will put him d tier i don't hate it and after that we get the 84 brian bosworth this time 83 speed 82 excel and again 80 man 80 zone i think the 84 and the 85 are going to rank right by each other for me this card again it's just a lot of plus ones right the 85 84 speed 83 excel it literally is plus one so the 84 and the 85 five for me are both going to be in this c tier right here yep don't mind that at all and then also we're going to have the 86 this time he's going to be a step above for me 85 speed 84 excel this time 83 zone 82 man coverage so again just a little bit of plus ones here and there like it's not that much a big a difference between like the 86 and the 85 but this one is going to be in the b tier for me by roquan and bradley chubb i like that and finally right here let's talk about full brian bosworth so i'll be honest this card and peyton wilson were s tier for a while for me it's just i feel like we have that next level good middle linebacker we're going to cover today and don't get me wrong still like great linebacker in the game i believe he's my middle linebacker too still again 86 speed 85 excel weakness on the card agility and change of direction being lower and i love the height on the card 85 zone coverage is also phenomenal not too many linebackers are hitting 85 zone but for me brian bosworth i could see it debated him still being an s tier caliber card I'm going to place him A tier because I feel like he does have a pretty big weakness with the lower COD and the lower agility. But the zone coverage, man, I might move him back into S, but right now this is what I'm thinking. And then after that, we get another Coca-Cola card right here that we talked about a little bit on the channel. We get Jaden Harrell and this card. Again, part of the Coca-Cola promo now. Do I know exactly how to get these cards? No, but I'm assuming you go to the store. There should be like some code on some like maybe cans of Coca-Cola, bottle of Coca-Cola. Uh, drink it, put the code in. You could probably get one of these 84s now. Now, am I right? Wrong? I don't know, like I said. But but again, I'm assuming. So this card is 77 speed, though. Like, speed is not the end-all, be-all. And I, I get some comments about that, but especially in these ranking videos. But damn, is 77 hard to justify? Like, imagine this dude trying to tackle DeAnthony Thomas. Like, good luck. And he's six foot two, decent height, 81 block shed, 73 impact blocking. And it's also like, he also doesn't make up from it from a zone or a man standpoint. Like, 66 zone, 63 man, so he can't play zone. He can't move. He can't pass rush. I guess he can tackle, but like, I don't know. I feel like this card offers you nothing. So in my opinion, Jaden Harrell is going to be in the F tier. We also get Tariq right here from uh, Washington State, and he is six foot two, 24, 82 speed, 84 acceleration. And this time hits that 81 zone coverage yet again. Doesn't have play ball in there aggressive or anything, but decent zone coverage, not the best run defensive stats, not the best speed in Excel, but it's all pretty solid in my opinion. I don't think this card is bad. He's kind of built like a safety at linebacker. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with him being in the D tier, man. I, I really don't mind this card. Now, after that, we get Brandon George into the college kickoff card. And again, 78 speed, man. He is six foot three. He's 81 Excel. It's just, man, that's tough. But at the same time, he hits 87 zone coverage. Like he hits that 85 tier, which again, what we're going to do right here is we're going to sort uh, linebacker by zone coverage. And we talked about hitting 80 zone coverage was kind of rare for linebackers. Hitting 85 is like even more rare. And he is the highest zone coverage player. But man, his physical stats are bad. Like, 
Oh man, where's this card rank? For me, it's either D or C. I just feel like 78 speed is just, oh, it's tough. It is very, very tough. He definitely is deserving of making the list. Use a lower overall Brian Bosworth, like 84, 85 or 85 George. Probably lean the Bosworth. It's also not like he makes over from like Excel, like, all of these are pretty bad. Excel is decent, like 81's okay. But man, the physical stats just aren't there. Like this, this is a tough card to rank though. I could see you having him maybe a little bit higher. We get York right here from Texas A&M. He is six foot 230, 81 speed, 82 Excel, 84 agility. This time has 81 power moves, a uh, good block check, good impact blocking, but really no mana zone. And this card, by the way, is trade. Like they actually messed up this card bad. Speed and Excel wise, not crazy for a middle linebacker. He actually looks like more of a pass rusher, like an outside linebacker type than a uh, what's called like coverage player. Cause obviously the zone and the man are terrible. Look at his pass rush traits. So the bull rush move, that is tied to the power move rating and bull rush is on no. What does that mean? He's not gonna use this rating. Swim move is on yes. That means he's only gonna use 65 finesse moves. Essentially block out this power move rating. This card really can't do anything on the football field. So for me, York is also gonna be in the F tier. Really no point to run him. We also get a Drake Bowen right here. And this card is six foot two, has 81 speed, 81 acceleration. And this time 85 block shed, 79 impact blocking. But the zone and the man just like, there's not really a lot of great things about the card. Like, I don't even know, is he even good enough to make the list? Play ball and air balance as well. I, I really don't, think so man like i think brian bosworth is better yeah i, I think this card's gonna be in the f tier for me yeah I, i'd rather use george or for me it's just like not even hitting 80 zone like i just feel like there's really no point to use the card after that we get 86 overall uh kydrin jenkins and this card has 85 speed pretty good for a linebacker uh 83 excel 80 agility lower change of direction does suck but can he make up for it he's six foot one 81 block shed hits that 80 level of zone coverage as well i feel like this again very solid linebacker card i'm gonna put kydron jenkins He's going to be a tier below uh, Peyton Wilson and Brian Bowser's for me. Going to be in the B tier. I feel like he's a really solid linebacker in the game. And yeah, maybe if I move Brian Bosworth up, this is a card that should be A. But for now, I'm going to keep him top in the B. We also get Dorian uh, Hopkins right here. Now, this card also has pretty similar weaknesses to a lot, a lot of linebackers in the game. 85 speed, great. He's also six foot. Uh, not the tallest player in the world, but not bad either. But 83 XL. The weakness, agility, change of direction. Like these two stats being a little bit lower, that, that's a trend amongst linebackers, but it is a weakness nonetheless. Now he does have 86 play rec and also good block shed. The impact blocking, not crazy, but 80 man and 80 zone as well. Play ball and air balance. Like I think he's overall a very good middle linebacker yet again. I'm going to put Dorian Hopkins also in this B tier. I like him. I like him. He's one of my favorite potential budget options you could use. Let's get a Jay Sean Barham right here from Michigan. He is six foot three, 84 speed, 86 acceleration, 83 agility, 79 change direction. So has a little bit better balance of physical stats. And this card also has 80 zone coverage, good block check, good impact blocking, and has play ball and air aggressive, which is kind of rare for linebackers. You don't see that a ton. And this is a card that I kind of, you know, it's tough where you have them. I could see either B or A. Do I think he's that much better than like Hopkins and Jenkins? Oh man, is he on the same level as Peyton Wilson and Brian Bosworth? I I'm gonna say no. He's gonna be a top and a B tier card for me. He's really, really close though. I like his balance of physical stats. I just like Peyton Wilson more as a user. And I mean, he's still like a top five middle linebacker for me. This isn't to say Barham's bad by any means. And for our last card right here, we got Sean Dolick from Buffalo. And this card is six foot yet again. And for me, the reason why this card is going to rank so high, it's the balance of speed, excel, agility, change direction, like 88 speed, 89 acceleration. This card can move. And I don't feel like that about a lot of linebackers. This card can move. And... Also has 88 play rec, that's great. Not the best block shutter impact blocking, but also does hit 80 plus zone, which it's not that 85 level, but also play ball and air balanced, uh, no big hitter. I think this is the best middle linebacker in the game. And I could maybe see why you would like Bosworth over him. But for me, Sean Dolick is gonna be alone in this S tier. And yeah, boys, this is what the middle linebacker position is looking like for me in college football ultimate team. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video though, wanna stay up to date with everything that's the best in college football, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys do wanna go ahead and see me use some of these cards live on stream, been streaming here on both YouTube and Twitch. When they do drop college content, uh, we'll be here streaming. So yeah, when is that? I don't know, I guess we'll see, but 
you guys do want to see that, make sure that noti bell on YouTube. You'll be notified every time I upload or go live here. Or if you guys want to watch on the Twitch, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with a follow. But if you guys do want another video to watch, check out this one right here.